I'm also going to take this, like I said, and it's a 5 8 If you get deep wells, you can easier to loosen. I might have to get a wrench behind it, it seems like. Yep, it's turning. So I'm going to go get a 5 inch wrench and stick it in there. Be right back, okay? I got a nice craftsman in there. Craftsman, whatever you want to call it. It's a 12 point. For a six point, but the 12 point nice is you can get it locked on even if it's at a weird angle. A little trouble on that. Now we can go with just the So, and there you go. Very simple once you got a, a wrench, it just wants to go. Now you gotta hold it. I'm not even sure if we're recording. I hope I am. I'm recording. Okay. Fingers, we got finger loose. Get it out of there. Put it back together. The good thing about when I'll video this for y'all, I'm gonna have a hey, this is what you did. This is how you put it back together. So I can look through my video and see. Set this over on my pile of bolts. Did you call me a rusted pile of bolts? What? Shush your face. You don't know. Alright, so I have another one I said right there behind there. And you can get it like this if you get an extender, a deep wall. The other thing you're going to have to do is remove the tension on the hydraulic transmission belt. Luckily for me, except for the cost, the belt broke the last time I used it. I was using it while it was leaking, and I just keep refilling it there for a little time. Um, can't see what I'm doing I'm sorry see in the back of my head I gotta get this bolt off it's just easier if I just get in here and do it um, where the bolt mounts into you cannot get into there's like a, a U channel of angle iron okay Earth loose. All right. Now we're gonna go for the guy right here. Can you guys see this one? I think you can. All right. There. Same bolt I just removed on the other side. Um, also, I've got these two bolts right here, which hold the axle on. So I thought it should be done. Yeah, so this one I can reach. I can kind of reach up the top bolt though. Hopefully, I'll still get this loosened all the way. Should be holding itself in that spot. I like loosen it like that. Those two, and then I got <clears throat> these two, which should be, yeah, they are half inch as well. And this should be it. Um, we got the hydraulic lines, we're gonna make a mess in a minute. So, before I drop this, I'm gonna go get my oil pan because this thing is drained, but that doesn't mean it's empty. Ah! Yeah, I don't like that. Don't like that. That's why I got the mechanic gloves over there. 
that I'm not using. I got 100 pairs of gloves and some actual mechanic ones. I need a half inch wrench to hold that. We'll be right back, okay? Now, see, that's what I'm moving these two bolts up here. Let's put this right here where this jack is. How about that? Is that a little better for you? You're not just watching me do nothing. Okay, I'm holding up right under. Hold the bolt in place. So, yep, and as you can see, it's now lowering. So, we're going to pause it. I'm going to get my oil pan because i got that hose that's coming in. I don't want to make a mess. So, we'll be right back. All right. And that is finger tight, got it right there. And so, it's this guy. You can see he doesn't want to come off now, but it's loose. Oh, man, it's heavy. So I'm almost thinking to assist myself. Keep this up so it doesn't just fall. Put that jack stand under it. It's gonna help me, but here we go. All right. Put your hands. Got my other bolt here, I just dropped it. Uh, I'm gonna find it, it's under there. I'm gonna move this. And we'll put these back together now. I got both bolts. Always remember to put your stuff back together so that when you take it apart later, you don't lose it. So, right now, it's hanging up slightly like it's pulley hooked to that belt as well as the hose that holds the hydraulics in. The hydraulic hose fluid. You know what I mean? We're still on. Wish I could get under here more and see. Uh, I'm gonna have to climb. Now I have to get tools here because of the different size bolts. Okay, so we are here. We are loose. Uh, oh, I got one more bolt here to remove that I didn't see. And this is the hydraulic fluid right here. This pump, I'm gonna remove that. See the clamp? Can you guys see that? Yeah, I'm sure hose, I'm sorry. See this here? So, where's my hand? See that hose? That's the top right into the pump. I'm about to pull that off. Uh, this here is the uh, transmission breaking it free. Up here there's a spot and it makes it go to neutral or whatever so you can push it. I gotta get this belt out of the way. So I gotta unhook that hose and I gotta remove this bolt. And uh, we should be free from this one bolt. All right. Yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, I'll be right back. Actually, you can watch. You can watch. I should be able to get it. Hey okay, guys, like, why are you upset now? Hold me, cause you're hooked to a, a thing right now. Just it'll get better. Once I pull this thing off, we're gonna go work up on the workbench inside a container, so we don't have a mess. Oh, that was the one that was the bigger size, right? That's not right, so I suck it. That's not right, so I suck it. I think I put the other one over there. Out of the way. Here it is. Alright, so there are three socket sizes you're going to end up with, it looks like. 
9 sixteenths, half inch, and 5 eighths, right? All right, that guy was tight. And guess what he wants to do? Spin. I'm gonna grab that 9 sixteenths wrench, which I don't have here. There wasn't one here, it was not the one I had to use yet. Set on right there. Put this here, and hopefully this works. There it goes. Can you guys see how I just held the wrench in there? Brackets there. Take this off. Put the bolt together. And I believe every single thing is just connected. We're going to find out in a minute here. It looks like I might still be connected because of the parking brake. But I'm hoping that what it feels like is just a clamp. Which is, I'm going to take your phone off and see if it can help to see anything. Okay. We're still recording. Let me see if we can turn the light on while we're doing it. Alright, so. Yep, see it? That. I don't see this rod here. We're going to have to take that clamp off right there by the clip. And this thing's going to come down. Alright, I'm not going to be able to show you doing that because I'm barely going to be able to fix because i got a mower here. That's going to be fun. Um, and then clamp the hose, which is going to make a greasy oil mess. So we're going to pause it just for a minute so I can get in there. Needle nose are a regular pliers and try to pull that apart. Alright everybody, first thing first. There's a cotter pin, which I'm going to show you in a minute. It's the whole part we're replacing is there's a, uh, a linkage that comes down and shifts it out of parking that. Well, there's a cotter pin that goes through the little thing and it comes unhooked. That's what was holding us up. So you got to do that first. I couldn't get behind it. I had the mower too close, so I pushed the mower back more. Um, here's our last step right here. The hydraulic hose. So when I do this, we are going to get a mess, okay? I'm going to put these on just in case. If it's sprayed, there's probably some hydraulic fluid still in there. Okay, and what you're going to need is regular pliers. It'll probably be your best bet. Needle nose may not fit it good. Okay, put that on, and you're going to take these and wiggle. And the weight of your pump should help bring it down. It's definitely going to leak, though. You want to have your oil pan here. You see what I'm doing, kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. And look at that, we're dry. There's actually none left because it leaked so long. So. I'm going to leave it under here, though, in case some more starts to try to leak. Uh, I'm going to pull this out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so see this linkage right here? The thing that goes through it is a cotter pin, and it does. You see it? It's wiggly. That's what's leaking. Okay, the O-ring's on it. I'm going to pull this out real quick, and I'm going to show you what it goes to. This arm right here, and the cotter pin goes through it. So the cotter linkage goes through, and that goes there. Look at that thing, it is wobbly, isn't it? Just a little crescent, it's like a C-clamp there. Snap snap ring, uh, not a crescent ring, snap ring. Uh, it's a mess, so I'm gonna have to clean this off as much as I can before putting it up there. So what we're gonna have to do is get this thing in my table. I'm gonna have to find some cardboard. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to put it in my bucket I wanted to. We gotta take all these bolts and then get into here. And as you can see, my bolt broke, look. It left a thing. Get that out of there. It broke like right at the end of the season. So, 
get this off and uh I don't have the hydro gear number again. I'm going to find it. Uh, it's on the other pump. It was on this one. It may still be here written stamped, but you can't read it with all the crud on it. Um, I'm going to go get a bag and a rubber band to fill that hole of the hydro fluid just because I don't want to get all this debris in there, even though I may. And I'm going to use some cleaning solvent and the air from my compressor, because it's, it's filthy. Can you see what I'm doing, kind of? Mm, kind of. Yeah. Just gotta get this off, this isn't good for the shaft of the pulley, which the belt pulls and spins and makes the hydro go, okay? So we're gonna go get a rubber band and a little bag to seal that up. See the little oil came out. Um, it's a mess, but that's, that part is the parking brake, see? On, off, that's it, it's not much. Um, that's it, right? Um, maybe when it's on the thing, you can shift it more. If not, that's it, okay? Well, that little bit of shifting all the time, right here, we're gonna show you, can you see the spot right here? Yeah, you got it? See that? And that's why it leaks. See all the fluid moving? You can see it bubbling. Mm -hmm. That's why it's leaking, that's it. An O-ring, it's stupid. I'm hoping I don't have to buy the whole gasket. Here it is. Two one two three might be the number. It's a hydro gear, but it had a uh, hydro gear something number, and I think it might have been ZT twenty eight. I don't know. We're gonna get in here, cleaned up. Uh, I can show you guys it. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm actually gonna set this out in the front porch area and do it. And clean some of that out right at the front door into the driveway, so I can clean it up easier with the broom. I don't want this doing in here. All right, we'll be 